Hi, everybody. This is Mike Anuzzi at musicaccelerator.com. We are on the line with a great friend of mine. He is the marketing and e-commerce manager for my favorite music shop, Gelb Music, in Redwood City, California, here in the heart of Silicon Valley. Personally, he has guided me through my gear purchases from all over the map, including analog, digital, pro audio gear, guitar effects. We have talked about bass, drums, lighting, the whole spectrum. He is a talented musician and guitar player, music gear buff, and all-around great guy. Please welcome Mike Craig. Mike, thank you for chatting with us today. Uh, no problem. Thank you for the gracious introduction there. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Could you could you tell us about your experience as a musician playing in bands and and maybe how that has helped you succeed in your current job? Um, oh boy. Well, um, I think I just had a passion for music before I even knew uh, how to play an instrument. I knew I was I was pulled towards the guitar. Um, I was kind of pulled towards live music from various artists I saw. And um, so at an early age, uh, I don't know, somewhere six or seven, I was trying to fake play guitar um, the best I can. And and uh, around uh, nine, ten years old is when I finally got you know, first guitar, got lessons kind of uh, actually here at Gelb Music from uh, Sydney Gelb, who founded the company. And um, just kind of played around. Um, later on, switched uh, teachers, came again. Tony Baker is another great uh, musician here in, in the, the Bay Area. Um, he also still teaches, and he took me uh, to the next level. And from there, I just kind of got into the music scene, playing bands, um, MTV video, all that kind of stuff, trying to be a rock star. And uh, I mean, that was, it was it was a great time. Um, got to play a lot of just cool places around the Bay Area and California, and and some other places. And uh, then kind of uh, went back in school, and from that, just got degrees, got a lot of experience working here in the Valley. Um, and I got to come back here, uh, it just happened to be the right timing to come back to Gelb and a lot of the experience of, of, uh, just going through, um, lessons and countless gigs really, uh, benefited me coming back to Gelb. I really never left. I was always still part of the community, still stopping by, but now that, um, I'm entrenched in the, in the business side of, of the music scene here and that's more selling gear, um, dealing with customers around the world, it's really beneficial to have that experience to go back and go, hey, you know, when you're on stage and this happens, or you're in the studio and this happens, or kind of guide um, from those new uh, those new students trying to learn and, and get experience and going maybe into the studio the first time or going to play their first live gig, or even the pros, um, it's able to, uh, I'm able to reflect on my, on my past history and my experiences and kind of help them uh, with their purchases or, or guidance of what they're going to go do. Absolutely, Mike. And we are so lucky to have you firsthand experience. I am a, a frequent shopper at Gelb Music. And, and yes, we are all lucky to have you in there. So <laughs> You I, have some great questions <laughs> oh, when you come in. <laughs> and you always have the right answer. So I appreciate that. You know, I want to talk about the music shop and kind of the benefits that artists do gain by frequenting and buying from their uh, local store. Do you think you could touch on this for a second? Sure. I mean, um, well, well, with the emergence of the internet, you know, obviously there's a, I don't know how many music stores are out there online. There's a plenty, but, uh, for most of us, when we, we can only see a picture or read some, uh, some text from it, um, maybe watch a, a YouTube video and it's, it's very two dimensional. Um, you can't really interact with anyone. It's, it's all information being pushed to you or you're just reading information that's just there. So, um, Having the benefit of a store and a store like Gelb that's been around for, and we're working on our 77th year, so we're one that I think one of the oldest music stores on the West Coast. Um, you have guys that have been doing this for for many many years, um, and you can come in and, and basically leverage their experience and their knowledge to help you out. So um, it's common that we have a lot of new students coming into Gelb, and you know how do you change your strings? How do you keep them in tune? Uh, if you're say, a guitar player or a bass player. Um, or your drummer, how do you keep your, your heads in tune? Uh, but I think as you as you evolve as a musician, you start having harder questions, and, and things are a little bit. Uh, you know, what's the best way to maybe apply these effects, or how do I, you know, set up lighting that's going to be automated? Um, that's when it gets a little bit more difficult. And having a store that you can physically walk into, um, talk to, you know, 
real pro pro people that know what they're talking about, um, being able to interact with them, and uh, it's just a little bit more valuable. Uh, time-wise, you, you gain some time by just not having to run around looking at a bunch of different pages, which you, you don't know if that information is going to be correct. Not to say that you go to every music store and everybody knows what they're talking about, but I think uh, us, at least us here at Gelb, um, just been doing it for, like I said, 77 years. We, we, we've we been through it. Um, we know a lot of people in the industry, and we train our people well. So if we don't have the answer, we're not going to try to make up an answer just to look you know, smart. We're going to go out and find the right answer. We're going to talk to you know, the rep or the manufacturer and, and dig deep. And I think that's kind of the benefit of going to a music store. You get that rapport with uh, the people that work there. You get better information. And, uh, yeah, that's yeah. about it. Absolutely. You know, I could totally, um, totally attest to this. I, I, as a pro- professional musician and, and touring artist, I'm playing, uh, t- over 200 shows a year. And, and, and a lot of my success is due to the information and knowledge that I've gained from going into your shop. So I really appreciate everything that Gelb Music has to offer all the guys that work there. I want to say thank you to all of them. You know, and and just talking a little bit about all the musicians that do depend on you guys. You you've had Neil Young, Carlos Santana, several other household name musicians that have all come in to purchase their gear from Gelb Music. You know, you were just interviewed on PBS. What do you think sets Gelb apart from other retailers? Well, I think one of the things that, I mean, at one point, uh, geez, in the 60s, I think there was like 70 music stores from San Francisco to San Jose, and I, now I believe there's only about three or four. Um, and the reason that we've kind of lasted is I think it's evolving and changing with the market. So, um, you know, come the 60s, uh, guitar was the, the new hot instrument. And, you know, coming from a big band era, uh, some some stores changed, some didn't. They held on to their accordions and said, no, this is... This is going to be a phase, um, and so I think Sydney uh, Sydney Gelb, who started the store, uh, started off right um, with the, how he created this environment here. Uh, Kevin Jarvis, who uh, bought the store in the '70s and took it over, and really brought in the guitar and then later the keyboard, which was you know a huge ship, another ship in the in the music industry. Um, he just kind of stayed. He he kept a, a good, um, I guess, uh, rapport with the manufacturers, his customers. He understood what was kind of going on in the market, and he made changes when necessary. And even lately up to now when, hey, listen, the Internet's coming on. I need to make a change. Um, that kind of kind of brought me back to Gelb. Um, I used to work here when I was younger uh, for a few years, and then, um, like I said, worked in the Valley here. So it, you can kind of see the, the change when you look over the 77 years of violins and horns, and then it moved into very guitar, you know, your Les Pauls and, and straps and all that kind of stuff. Uh, keyboards coming in um, lately over the last you know, 10, 15 years, it's been the internet and how can you make that shift and get your product out to people not only in the Bay Area, but now around the world. Absolutely, Mike. And, and you know, every time I go into Gelb, I see a new piece of technology, a new piece of gear that I haven't seen anywhere else. So um, with that in mind, what kind of gear do you have in stock right now that you're really excited about? Well, I think um, what I, I like about Gelb, and I mean, you have those big box stores that carries you know, a huge catalog of instruments, but we're focused on more of boutique, um, and not it's not always the five thousand dollar amplifier or the you know, crazy guitar or something like that. We have you know boutique stuff that's that's affordable, um, but something that's unique and really works. So all of us here at Gelb are gigging musicians, uh, including myself. We all understand. Uh, what gear works and what gear doesn't work. And we're not going to try to pass that on to someone um, just to make a buck. And um, so that's that keeps me excited because I know that the gear that we that comes in the door is usually going to be good, something to get excited about. And when you're excited about it, um, you, it's easy to get other people excited about it. So uh, we have a, a great line of guitars from Tom Anderson and Sir. I've been really happy about that line. Um, and uh, just because they're fabulous instruments, uh, I think... Um, on the bass front, Bergantino has been just superb. Um, there's been uh, Mesa Boogie and uh, Bergantino have been delivering some unique products, uh, including their small uh, amp head sizes. Um, Pro Audio, uh, Prezonus has been just dominating lately as far as home recording studios. So if anyone's thinking about doing that, I think that equipment there and the support from Prezonus has been just super. Um, drums has always been... You know, things are changing. Uh, 
we are on a first name basis with you know DW. So uh, Don Lombardi or, or John Good are are at their store. So it's great to see. Hey, here we have the one of a kind kit or snare drum that you can't get anywhere in the world other than our store. And again, it goes back to just doing good business. Um, a long time in business, uh, just kind of growing up with the industry, changing and just working with uh, not only our customers, but also our vendors. So, um, yeah. And there's pedals. I was going to say, just uh, as far as pedals, because I, I know I'm a little bit of a pedal geek, um, you know, we have just, I don't know how many pedals we have, but I think it's like three or 400 different types of pedals. Awesome. Uh, from electro to more. Good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I was gonna. I was just gonna ask you: Is there anything in your personal collection of gear that you cannot live without? Oh God! <laughs> um, in your I, vast I have, personal anyway, collection, yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's funny. I, I it's you kind of. I don't know if I'm the only one that does it. You look in your closet. You're like, okay, you're up to twenty guitars. That is too many. You need to you need to get them back down. Um, the latest piece of gear I bought was the Pitchfork from Electrohomonics, and uh, and I love it. It's just uh, it's not the greatest pill in the world or anything like that. It's just it does an octave, uh, three octaves up or down, or a mixture, and you can use an expression pedal. But I've been having a lot of fun with it because it's just um, opens up some new uh, just new sounds. Um, you get to play around with some things. So for those of you who have not messed around with it, it's a, it's a fun pedal to check out. Um, I guess. Uh, you know, a couple pieces I couldn't let it leave with my would be my first electric guitar, uh, an old Gibson 180 Sonics, uh, which is a very cheap, inexpensive Gibson back in I don't know when that was made a long time ago, and my first acoustic. And um, I grabbed when uh, Paul Reed Smith came out to the West Coast to try to start his his brand of music, his music company, and get his guitar sold. Um, he brought three guitars out to see if anyone would buy them out here, and uh, I ended up buying one of them and still have it. So wow. it was great to see Paul last year who visited our store after, I don't know how many years, 30-something years, and uh, just have that conversation like, yeah, I still have that one guitar that you custom-made yourself to get your guitar company off the ground. And so that was that's another one of the, the good possessions I have. Yeah, that sounds like an absolute gem, and it, it also just goes to show that we all start somewhere, so it's great that we all have that support and all have the opportunity to showcase our musical talents. Well, Mike, I have one more question for you. <laughs> what do you have coming up next? Um, maybe any in-store events that you have or any shows in your personal musical career that you're excited about? Hmm. Well, I, I I don't have any shows coming up right now. Uh, I'm kind of playing with various projects, so we're kind of working on where that's going to go, recording live, so much. So nothing really announced there. As for the store, um, we always have a special sale, our anniversary sale, which, but that's uh, a ways away in fall. Um, right now, we're just excited with the uh, you know recent merger of Hate Asbury Music Center and Gal Music. So. Uh, Kevin, who I mentioned before, who took over from Sydney Gal, uh, ran the store for 42 years, and uh, and that's long enough. I mean, the guy go take a break and, and watch some Giants baseball or right. something. So he uh, sold the store to uh, Masood, who runs Heat Asbury Music for the last 30 years also. And so now we have just the combination of two stores, and that means all these other brands, brands like Martin and Taylor and and uh, Rickenbacker, and, and just things that we didn't see at the store. Um, now we're seeing come in the store. So I think it's an exciting time to come down to Gelb. Um, it's going to look different. It's You're going to see a lot of different products. Even the floor and the layout's looking different. We're doing a lot of remodeling. So, uh, yeah, I think that's right now is the, is the fun thing. And uh, hopefully I can see everyone come down. Absolutely, Mike. Well, thank you so much. You know that I will be seeing you again really soon. Again, I want to thank Mike Craig for taking his time to share his insight with us. I know I speak for several of us musicians. We really appreciate everything that you do, Mike. So thank you. Well, we, we thank you. You keep us employed. And uh, yeah, if you ever have questions, even if you bought something somewhere else, you have any problems with it. Um, we're all musicians. We all like to help you out like you're in our band. So give us a call down here. Um, We'll do our best to help you out. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for your support. Yeah, thank you, Mike. And all right, everyone, this is Mike Anuzzi at musicaccelerator.com, and we will catch you again next time. All right, thanks a lot. See you guys.